A U.S. veto is a vote against humanity. We need to end the military and aid, end the genocide, end the apartheid, end the murder, and we demand peace now. Stop the vault. This is Natalia with People's Dispatch. Right now, I'm here outside a rally with many different labor unions, labor movements sponsoring outside of the New York Public Library in New York City. Um, labor unions, including the UAW Region 9A, including the United Postal Workers Union, United Electrical Workers, have gathered here because all those unions have demanded a ceasefire in Israel's war on Gaza. They've demanded an end to the violence in Gaza, and many of them have said that we don't want our tax dollars as American working class people, as working class people from the United States, going to Israeli um, violence in the Gaza Strip. And so this is really a watershed moment in U.S. politics where you have dozens of unions gathering here in New York City to demand a ceasefire and demand peace and take a very political stance in an international issue and express dissatisfaction with the political status quo here in the United States. UAW um, Region 9A has a strong presence here. They just came off of a massive strike nationwide where they won major demands for their members and are riding the waves of that victory. And right now they're doing that, um, riding those waves by demanding peace and demanding a ceasefire in Gaza. What is taking place in Israel's response to the Palestinian people with its indiscriminate bombing, shutting off the food, water, fuel, and medical supplies to Gaza is the most horrendous of war crimes. We are here to mobilize workers across the country to win the democracy that we need because democracy here is going to be able to bring about democracy in the most oppressed, colonized, and war-torn places in the world. The bombs killing civilians in Gaza are being paid for by the hard-earned tax dollars of the U.S. working class. Every bomb that drops on a hospital, a school, or a home in Gaza is paid for by the money that could instead be going to hospitals, schools, and housing here at home. Doctors are being forced to perform surgeries and procedures to care for the injured without medication, without anesthesia. Just take a moment and imagine that pain. This is absolutely unacceptable. Women are going into labor and delivering their babies under rubble. They are delivering the babies without proper postnatal care. Shame on our government for vetoing a ceasefire. Instead of listening to the people that elected them, the Biden administration and corporate Democrats are cutting deals with right-wing Republicans to impose extreme, cruel sanctions on migrants at our borders, many of whom are fleeing the legacy of U.S. military conflict in their own countries. The American people, by more large majorities, want a ceasefire. We want our government to work for peace, not pour fuel on the fire. We cannot bomb our way to peace. We cannot bomb our way to safety. We cannot bomb our way to liberation. The reason the labor movement has been slow to non-responsive to hostile to these calls for peace is because we line up behind the politicians who are either too cowardly or supportive of the genocide that is occurring at the moment. We will not be organized by those politicians. You know what we're going to do instead? We are going to organize them for peace. You need to know where workers stand right now in this historic moment. And if you don't understand, you're going out. We must restore access to water, food, electricity, housing, and health care to the 2.2 million people in Gaza, half of whom are children. To deny the above constitutes collective punishment, a war crime under the Geneva Convention. That's right. I plead for an immediate and permanent ceasefire because I am a healer. As physicians, we do not take life lightly. This is a chance at life, so I'm obligated to speak up, to speak up with you all and stand here. I refuse to give up hope that our collective voices will not be heard. 
show a ceasefire now and solidarity forever. Without labor, nothing moves. We are going to stand with you until we win justice, until we win peace, and until we win a ceasefire.